When you reload your own primers, in the early stages, removal of the anvil is a required step. The shake and bake method is by far the easiest and fastest way to accomplish this task. I know de-anvil isn't a word, but it accurately describes the task at hand. We need to get that anvil out of the way so that we can do some additional cut prep, such as cleaning it or removing that dimple. The MeWe Group's Reno first turned me on to this method months ago. He found it to be much faster, easier, and it actually results in less damage to the cups and anvils. The overall process is dirt simple. Take an old milk jug or any type of somewhat heavy duty jug of your choice. I usually use my old Arnold Palmer iced tea container, but for this video I tried to use the laundry detergent jug. I'm going to put my dirty mixed anvils in here. Some of them I can see that the anvils are already removed. Probably should separate the anvils from the cups first, but I'll do that later. And then the process is pretty simple. I'm, I guess I could add some water to this since I have soap in there, but for now I'm just going to shake the ever-loving you-know-what out of it. I would like to point out that shake and bake occurs after two wet washings, then the shake and bake, followed by one more wet wash. I then separate the cups from the anvils. You may have some stainless steel pellet pins or even water in the mix. This is my primer cup and anvil separator. It's from Dollar Tree. This square pail is the dollar twenty-five, but for small primers that fits together perfectly just throw them in there shake it around a little bit like that that colander takes all those anvils and they're all separated again i've got a few stainless steel pellet pins in there this magnet comes from harbor freight the magnet in the pail and this will suck up any uh, uh, pellet pins that came out. And sometimes those pellet pins will get hung up in here. Merely gather those pellet pins that way. And then I have a piece of plastic over my magnet. Or I, I've been known to use an old sock. I also have this shaped tray. The anvils can be put in this tray. I mostly want it because of this simple lip that it has. This is a dollar tree. A dollar or so will get you ten of them from Harbor, excuse me, from Dollar Tree. Those are nicely into its own Tupperware. I label it right away. The cups can come out of the And these can also be put into easily. It gets capped off. But we're not quite through with this batch of cups. You'll see a big difference in the percentage of de anviled cups, probably 80 to 90%. But that last 10 to 20% will probably have to be manually processed. Because it's so efficient at removing the anvils with no visible damage to the cups, I recommend you follow a wet wash or two with one session of shake and bake and then take in your danvils to de-anvil your primers manually. Danvils will be the subject of an upcoming video. This is Mark on ArdvarkReloading.com If this tutorial helped you, I have many others like it. Please consider helping with the cost of publication by visiting the support page. There are several ways to do so.